Well, Fancy and Zach and I are getting ready to do our 2019 pack trip. We're starting out in the West Elks wilderness. Uh, part of it I rode last year, but most of it will be new. Uh, it's about a 60 mile loop that I'll be doing. Uh, I am not in any hurry. I don't have any schedule. I'm just going to take my time, make camp early, sleep late, ride till I'm ready to stop for the night. We're going to try to take our time, enjoy it, and smell the roses. If it takes four days or seven days, it doesn't matter. I've got enough mountain house to last me for nine days. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Got to get off and open and close a gate. Thought I might as well take a shot of this. Isn't that beautiful? Nice riding in the mountain this morning. I would guess 50 to 60 degrees in there somewhere. A few clouds, but very few. Not supposed to rain according to the weather forecast. Just a nice, enjoyable ride. That's the castles. If I remember right, I will be riding underneath them back over the there somewhere. I don't know if where I'm where I'm at or where I'm going, but I'm enjoying it. The castles up closer. They are beautiful. That was a long, steep climb. And we're not finished yet. around the end of the castles. 
Yeah, Zach. Hard climb, isn't it? Fresh av avalanche this year. Doesn't look like it's melted yet. Probably won't for a long time. Well, we're getting close to the top. Man, this has been a rough climb. Zach's earning these groceries today and he's going to earn a deserved rest and an early camp tonight if we ever get there we've made some major elevation change and we're still not to the top Beautiful sight, though. Just keep climbing. I finally see where we're going to come out. We're going to have to go around the end of that up there to get out of here. Well, one last shot. We finally got to the top. Twelve and a half thousand feet. That had to be at least a three thousand foot elevation change. And I've been on some pretty rough trails before, but I believe that's the worst one I've been on. It was a rough son of a gun, and that those avalanches didn't help matters any. Uh, going around deadfall and and uh, but we are at the top almost of this spot and Zach and Fancy may not agree but I think it was an awesome climb. Now, we've got to go down to make camp tonight. And these boys and girls will be ready. I don't have to worry about them running off. <laughs> they are pooped. To come up that trail, you better have an extremely good horse or an awfully good mule. It's a tough one. Well, I just thought I was topped out down there. 
finally topped out at 12 9 to 9 20. Now I gotta get off here. Well, at least there's some up here. That's the first I've seen. Well, this is where we spent the night. I didn't plan on stopping here. But the mules were tired after that big climb yesterday. And so we pitched camp right there. We had good graze and plenty of water right down below us. So it was a good place. Well, we've not quite got camp completely made, but we're 80, 90 percent. The kids have already had their first round of snacks. Looks like they're comfortable. Got the tent made. The reason I don't have everything done I may not look any better but I sure do feel better I had me a nice hot shower so everything is all right I'm gonna sleep good tonight Well, another beautiful day in the mountains. I really lucked out. Uh, I had planned on coming in Monday, but it was raining. So I waited Tuesday and uh, haven't had to use my slicker once. Well, I got camp packed up. I'm gonna go up to the top of Bonfus Peak and uh, I'm going to leave uh, the packs and stuff here and pick them up on the way down. No need making the kids work harder than necessary. On our way up, just getting started.
Well, finally, Zack says, there she is. What do you think, buddy? Huh? You made it. We'll rest when we get up to the top. Just a minute. That was tiring for me, Zach. I feel for you. Well, this is not a bad way to spend your lunch hour. The trailhead is 16 miles roughly due north as the crows flies, but it took 32 miles of trail to get here. I'm almost on the top of Bonfus Peak. You could go another 50 or 60 feet, but I don't, I don't want to do that by myself. This is, this is close enough for an old man. Just barely see the mules down there. Oh, Zach, probably glad to get to the top. Quite a view. Quite a view. There's the mules. I'm gonna find my way back over there to them. Very slowly. Bonfus, Bonfus Peak's not real high, 11, little over 11.5. I think we were 12, nine, a little over when we dropped off into West Elk, West Elk Basin, if memory serves me right. But it's still pretty up here. I like to come up here.
Oh, they have some big old hills and hollers out here, don't they? Zach. Heading back down to camp. Boy, I still say they got some awful big hills and hollers out here in this country. Whew. They're beautiful. Well, that is the West Elk Basin. What's wrong back there, Fancy? That, that boy, I'll never forget. Coming over the top of that, dropping off into it. And I doubt if Zach will remember, forget it either. But, we made it. for Zach we're going downhill well we're going to camp in East Soap Creek tonight I believe Fancy and Zach are agreeable to that we've had a we've had a nice day but they deserve rest. And we're not in any hurry. East Soap Camp. Creek. East Soap Creek. I just left camp. That was Boniface Peak that we was at yesterday. Flowers are pretty this year. Last year it was hot and dry. You wouldn't see a one. I like the pretty views of the mountains. They're awesome. But I really enjoy riding through the big timber.
Whoops, gotta go this way, Zach. This is where I camped last year. I thought about it last night, but I stopped a couple of miles short of it. Really nice camp area. Whoa. 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 That's the baldies. I think I'm gonna go around that end over there. At least that's where I hope I go. Hope I don't go over them. Never been there. Little Robertson Cow Camp. I didn't intend to come down here with the trail that I was supposed to take doesn't exist. So that presents a problem. Well, I couldn't find the trail that cuts over to cliff trail that I came in on. So I'm having Jared, a buddy of mine from Delta, meet me at Little Robertson Trailhead and We'll go over and get my truck and come back and get the mules. So that's the best we can do. That's riding in the mountains. Oh, this is some pretty aspens. Mature aspens. Kind of shaky, but pretty. That's kind of pretty.
Well, we're in the San Juans this morning. Uh, gonna go over the Bridge of Heaven. Uh, back to difficulty. And camp there. And then tomorrow, depending on how much snow there is on top, we're gonna ride back toward Wetter Wetterhorn Basin. Beautiful ride over here in the San Juans. They're a younger range of mountains, more rugged than the Rockies. And uh, are really a beautiful, comfortable ride. Got a big climb ahead of us, about five miles. Uh, continuous climb, but uh, Ozak's plugging right along. This side of the bridge gets a lot of traffic, uh, a lot of foot traffic. Real popular place for uh, hikers to come up and see the bridge. Very few go on over the top where we're going. Fancy just plugging right along. Never takes a slack out of the lead rope. Just an awesome little pack mule. Just a sample of what we got to look forward to. Leaving the fat, flat country. Well, that's the town of Uray down below us. We're just getting started. Looks like there's still quite a bit of snow up on top. We're going to be at 12 and a half, 13,000 feet. Three or four years ago, I was up here and couldn't go where I wanted to because of snow. And I don't think we had as much then as we did last year. So we'll just have to wait and see when we get up there. But that's a long ways ahead yet. Another shot down on you, Ray. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be something to have to look at that every day when you got up? Another shot of you, Ray. But I wish I knew what those three peaks are back there. I'm gonna have to look them up when I get back. I believe, I, I believe one of them's one of the 14,000 peaks. I'll look that up when I get back. Well, 
Well, we're at 12,250 feet of elevation. We just climbed 3,600 feet in elevation with a five and a quarter mile continuous climb. And this is the Bridge of Heaven. And I'm going to step off a little ways and show it to you. That's how wide it is. It's almost vertical to my right and to my left. So I think it was appropriately named the Bridge of Heaven. And I don't have to worry about them running off. They're glad to uh, take a break and yawn. Now we get to go off the other side and that's the trail down there after we make major switchbacks down to it. And we'll go back off over there and then cut back over into difficulty and make camp today. And tomorrow, ride on back toward Water, Waterhorn Basin. I don't think there's going to be any way we can get back very far because on the way up, there's snow uh, that we had to go around and I have never seen snow on this side before so I'm anticipating that we're going to run into a, a lot of it when we get up on top but we'll find out tomorrow well now we'll go down the other side Zach, you watch the trail. I'll do the looking around. I'm sure it doesn't show, but that's pretty steep on, on my right side. And that trail is about 12 or 18 inches wide. Oh, here comes some beautiful flowers. I was expecting, I think this will be the best year I've ever seen because of the rain this summer for flowers. I hope those show up good.
Well, as soon as we go up and over that saddle, we'll drop into difficulty and go off down into the bottom of it and make camp. Well, finally we're almost to camp. Yeah. Are you ready for it, Jack? Well, the mules are happy. I'm happy. Got camp made. Just enjoying the view. And hopefully, about dark tonight, there will be two or three hundred elk come out of over there and work their way all the way around up this big draw and in the morning about daylight they'll come back I've sat here several times and seen that and then tomorrow's ride when we get up on the top and get over into Cow Creek I've seen as many as five or six hundred head over there. Last year I didn't see a one. Every year it's a surprise. <laughs> How you doing there, Zach? Heading out of difficulty this morning. Going up on top. Well, it, I believe this is Wild Horse Basin. I'm not sure, but I think that cock's going to peak over there. Well, we'll ride over there and look and see if we can see any elk. I didn't see any last night. And uh, I don't think I'll see any because they normally feed around the edge over there to difficulty if they're in here. Didn't see any here last year. But of course there was a thousand head of sheep in here. It was dry. Wasn't hardly anything for them to eat, so I wasn't surprised. I did expect to see some this year, but I haven't yet. This is a big old basin. And I just checked my GPS and it says that that is Coxcomb, uh, this second mountain back there. I thought it was the one on the right, but it's the one on the left over there, five and a half miles away. Well, there wasn't any elk and horse thief. And once you get up here on top, we're at about 12.6 to 12.8. You can just ride for miles and, and it's just uh, one big basin after the other. Wetter horns on over there. But I've had a good ride and Zach's uh, picket line got tangled up in a on a little stob last night and he didn't get to eat very much so I think I'll just go back down and break camp and and call it a a good trail ride this year other than the first couple of days being really tough, we've not had any issues. So I think I'll go home and see Mama.
I can't resist. I've just got to video the video of this again. That is just beautiful to me. Whoa. It was cloudy when I was here the other day. Thought I'd get... These things are just... Just beautiful. Aren't they, Zach? Huh? We've got us a pet. That little old doe's been following us for a good half mile. Mules aren't afraid of them, but when they start following them on the, behind them on the trail, they don't like that. Yeah. What are you doing, girl? Well, leaving the high country for this trip. Been a good one. We have gone over the bridge of heaven and a long ways down the other side and our little friend is still with us. Well, we're back at base camp. Done for this year. Had a good ride. Uh, we rode about 80 miles in the last week. And uh, didn't have any major issues. And a couple of hard days riding, second and third day. But uh, that's to be expected when you go someplace that you've never been before. So, glad about this year. Good Lord willing, we'll be back next year.